Okay, what's up guys? Um, I'm gonna be talking about repaints today, and I know that I don't have my face cam. Uh, my phone actually broke, but I still have my MacBook that I'm using. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so this is the um, Godzilla vs. Biollante SC Monster Arts Atomic Blast version from San Diego Comic Con. Um, this does not look great. This, th this does not look great. Like. This only the middle section, and doesn't Godzilla, uh, his tail lighter from his tail, or is, it, is that just me? Um, and then it turns out there's like half painted dorsal plates here. That's just weird. Bandai, what are you doing? Um, this looks okay right here. Um, just find the original figure. This doesn't even come with a beam. This doesn't even come with a freaking beam, dude. What is Bandai? I'm not giving you any accessories. There's something off with this head. I There's something off with this head, dude. The, this head does not look good. Okay, it looks okay there. But, just don't buy this figure. It's not good at all. It is not good. Okay, okay it looks okay right there. That looks okay right there. This looks okay. Um, it's definitely not worth the asking price for it. It says it's $61. It's probably going to be like 80 Here. Um, that's it. Contents, it's just the main body. That's it. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. Why is Bandai so bad at just not giving us accessories? This is the Atomic Blast version. Just give us a beam or anything. Or like at least a hand that from where Biolante shoots her tentacle through Godzilla's hand. That would be even better. But no, we don't get anything. Don't pre-order this figure. Do not. Now, I do want to take a look at another figure. And it's this figure right here. The uh, Orthochromatic Shin Godzilla version. This is very interesting. What is wrong with this? What, what what is wrong with this figure man why is bandai just doing repaints just buy the original figure for a good price this figure is what like it's probably gonna be like 160 bucks it's basically just a black and white version of the of the original figure i don't think this is even the this might even be the like the fourth night combat version just repainted with black and white uh paint why is ba just give us an accessory bandai like give us like a different tale from the frozen version back in 2017 just why is bandai so opposed to giving you accessories for figures and there is something wrong with this figure this doesn't look right this does not look good like shin godzilla is, o is an okay figure but the fortnite combat version is great this figure is just a repaint of the original figure, and it doesn't come with anything. It's like 160 bucks for the figure, which is not worth it. This is just not worth it. This doesn't even look good either. So, I don't know why Bandai is so opposed to giving you accessories for figures, because it's definitely something they can do took like 10 extra bucks it's better than paying the original price for the original figure but it comes with nothing i mean the original figure didn't come with nothing and that was actually painted this just does not look good in my opinion there's now why is bandai just doing repaints that I and mean, giving us nothing the point of repaint is to bring in is to bring the sculpt back to people who didn't get the original version but no one's gonna buy this nobody's gonna say like oh i'm gonna use this look figure looks great this doesn't look good okay uh let's look at the another figure okay Okay, so this is the SH Monster Arts uh, black and white version of Godzilla Minus One. What is up with this head, Bandai? It's just it's just basically a black and white version. Like I'm not getting mad at the Super Seven figure 
because that's actually cheaper than this figure. This is like, it's like, it's 60 bucks cheaper. No wait, this is this is five dollars more than the original figure, so it's about sixty-five dollars less than this figure, the Super Seven one. And the Super Seven one looks way better. Okay, so this is the black and white version of Godzilla Minus One from Super Seven, and this just looks so much better than the SH Monster Arts man. But like, look how good this looks. It looks so much better compared to the Monster Arts. Why does he just- he looks like he has no soul. Okay, that looks okay right there. Okay. Well, what is this? Okay, th okay, this- th it's a different head! It's a different head, dude, from the, uh, other photos. Are they photoshopping the head, dude? Yeah, that's a- it's a different head. What is Bandai doing, dude, with these ray paints? You don't even come with anything. It's just, it's just the main, it's just a figure. You don't, you don't get anything. You don't get like a, a plane or like an alternate head. Any, you don't get anything with this figure. And somehow the, somehow the Super Sam looks better and it is 65 bucks cheaper than, than it, than the SH Monster Arts. Like this looks great. Um, I do have the, okay, I do have this guy on pre-order, um, I'm getting him hopefully by early, late July, oh, well, late August, early September, yeah, September 2024, but it already is in production, so since I got mine through Super 7, it might, uh, come earlier, but, like, this looks just so much better than the SH Monster Arts, dude, this looks more screen accurate. Like, this looks so good, dude. I am really excited to get this figure in. But compared to the monster arts, dude, what what is wrong with giving us no accessories? What is... Why is Bandai just saying, nope, F you, you don't get anything. $5 cheaper than the original version. Who... Who is the target demographic for, for this figure? I hope you guys did enjoy this little rant. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.